every time we get, we get somewhere. <laughs> Every time we fucking turn up somewhere, Claire fucking has the biggest moan. Why you would the, I not moan you about have that? the biggest moan. Like, oh, Jack, I'm fucking sick of these door handles. No, I she's don't gonna, even say that. I say, my door like a fucking pover, bitch. <laughs> that's what she says. Every I wanted to take a second to talk about our new sponsor, and that's Lunar Finance. Our new sponsor is an asset and finance company that's making a real difference across Australia. Imagine you're a parent finally looking to get a new car, or maybe you're on the cusp of launching a new business. Lunar Finance can make that happen for you. From cars suited to the everyday family, or if you're a bloke like myself and you need a big truck to drive, <laughs> Lunar Finance has got you covered. What truly sets Lunar Finance apart is how easy they make the process. No need to adjust your schedule. Their 24 seven online applications at lunarfinance.com.au is a game changer. And if you're not into filling out online forms, any of that kind of stuff, no worries. Just submit your details online and their dedicated team will get in touch with you. They're all about making finance accessible, no matter who you are or what you're looking for. Turn your aspirations into achievements with just a click. Apply at lunarfinance.com.au today and discover the Lunar Finance difference. Season C's apply subject to credit specifications. Head over to Instagram and find them at lunarfinance.com.au and tell them Crossy sent you. And thanks to Luna for sponsoring this episode. Welcome back to the Cross Family Dining Room. <laughs> <laughs> episode four, Mama, we made it. Um, my name's Shark Cross. <laughs> this is my wife, Claire Cross. Hi, I'm Claire Cross. My co-host, sidekick, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, wifey for lifey, he reckons. Wifey for lifey, yeah. And we're if the cross. goes well. <laughs> oh, really? I'm, I'm... After today's therapy session. Yeah, okay. And we're the Cross Family Podcast. Yeah. So, um, we spent a big bag of money on podcast gear this oh, week. Oh, my goodness. Don't tell people. <laughs> Not a giant bag of money, but we... Um, we invested in it. Yeah, we we got a second camera, so we got the original camera angle. That's cross family number one up there, and then this one over here is cross family number two. We got another. We use GoPros, um, and we got that one cheap off a hippie that probably <laughs> yeah. stole it. He was in like this psychedelic band too. Yeah, hey? like we listened to his literally stuff. the um the band Magic Rock. Yeah, they called we themselves... We stalked them, inter- obviously. Yeah. Yeah. Intergalactic. Intergalactic. Five-piece band. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> and um, he sold us this... GoPros are pretty expensive even secondhand. Yeah. They're like five, like 600 bucks secondhand for the 11s. Yeah. We got this one for like 300 bucks. And he was still Shout like... Across family number two. Like, are you sure you don't want to negotiate? Yeah, yeah I know, right? It's like, bro. And then, like, he tried to give me an SD card and everything. I was like, oh, bro, this is my second one. I don't need any SD cards. He's like, are you sure? And I was like, yeah. And I was like, you wanted 300 bucks for it, eh? And he goes, yeah, if, if that's okay. <laughs> so funny. How awkward. <laughs> um, but we got some new ring lights as well. That's why it looks like it's daylight in here. Yeah. We needed more light in here. It, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. I'm pretty excited about all our all my new gadgets, all of our new gadgets. Yeah, I say. you've been like hyper fixating on it. Yeah, and you've what about the laptop? Oh yeah, we got a MacBook too. We got a MacBook so I can Pro. edit on the road because the biggest problem that yeah since we're doing weekly podcasts and we've got other videos that we've filmed too. Yeah, the biggest problem that I've found is not having enough time to actually edit. Anything. Yeah, it is a bit difficult, um, especially when you've got spare time when you've yeah. got like seven hour breaks during the day and you know yeah. you're waiting for your next load or whatever. Yeah, that's right. But Claire did offer to start editing and all that, but like her job's hectic as it is. Yeah, well, the kids adding. are still young and I'm by myself. It's just yeah. a bit difficult. Like clips and stuff on your phone, you could probably do. Yeah. Um, but actually editing the content, we needed a MacBook. We've needed a laptop. Since we since episode yeah. one, I mean, I have a laptop. It's just a little, you know. You could have used that one. <laughs> Literally, <laughs> this, I'm gonna smash that thing. See, so this oh, that's fucking. So funny. Oh, that's it's so annoying. It's just like a ten. I just hate the fact it's that it's like a ten or twelve every time year old I MacBook say to Air. Claire, I've n- I need a laptop. <laughs> oh, I've got a MacBook Air. I don't know where it is. I'm pretty sure it doesn't work, but you can use that. It just needs to be updated. That's all. Like all of the. Sh- 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 <laughs> shut up. <laughs> Actually, shut up. Okay? Sorry. That's what, we're two minutes into the podcast, babe, and you're already annoying me. <laughs> What's news? Yeah. You married the annoying girl, so. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. But yeah, so now I can edit on the road and like, because we're going to start putting out more content. 
Um, did you just pick your nose on, on camera? No. I just you just picked your nose on 4K. Um, I hope you enjoyed the ad read too. Wait, no, sorry. Episode 3 was... Wait, oh, this always confused me. Episode 3 was meant to come out tonight. Yeah, but it'll be With the out. first ad read on yeah. it. But I haven't had enough time to actually edit it. Yeah. Um... Because you ran around all day buying things. Yeah. Yesterday. Oh, no, but people would have seen that episode before this one. Yeah. Oh, okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Yeah. <laughs> we, um, yeah, we're pretty excited to have a sponsor. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. yeah. Um, you got signed to an, a modeling agency this week. I did. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. Come on, talk about it. Well, a friend of mine is a modelling agent. She's a booking agent. She scouts talent. And a couple of years ago, she texted me and said, what are you up to? Yeah. Do you want to do it? Yeah. And I was like, I'm not out of the leggings phase, mum bun sort of thing. Yeah. Um, I'm going to elaborate on these leggings. Claire had Oh, those like. (laughs) Claire had these <laughs> after she had Huey. She got these pregnancy no, leggings. I had wore them while I was pregnant with him. I know. Yeah. Oh. But after she had Huey, she didn't stop wearing these giant <laughs> leggings. So and big. every time I s- saw them, I wanted to neck myself. I still have them. What? Yeah, I still have them. Why? Because they're comfy. I wear them sometimes when you're when not I'm around. Not here, <laughs> I got up Claire for wearing them, and she yeah. To be fair, they are pretty ugly. But, but we, got, we got you back to looking stylish again. Yeah, thanks. Yeah. Um, you just needed a nudge. I actually just needed some extra money. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we started making more money, so I was able to spend money on myself. Anyway, so my friend messaged me and said, would you like to do some modelling? Um, I can send your details around to some agencies, blah, blah, blah. Mm. So, yeah, she, at the start of the year, I decided probably maybe it's a right time to start doing that Mm. and uh we a couple of weeks ago got like all the digis um shot and yeah then she sent all of my stuff around to a few agencies and yeah yeah, i've got some interest which is so cool but did you just sign a piece of paper i haven't signed it yet where have they sent you something not yet it's coming next week is it really yeah so then you're just the sign model and then see you on the next colgate ad or something (laughs) maybe (laughs) (laughs) well the next what? Well, like Instagram ad, I'd reckon. Like there's lots of Instagram like so fashion brands. Do they have a catalogue that you've looked at like of where they where they place people? Uh yeah, we've spoken about it all, yeah. Yeah. You don't want to speak about it again? Well on the podcast. <laughs> <I just laughs> yeah, like they the cool thing is I like had a phone call with um Chrissy, the like agent and I said, oh, you know, what sort of brands do you work with? And she mm. started like rattling off a few brands that I'm aware of, like Bonds yeah. and, you know, someone called Freeze and like a bunch of other like yeah. labels and stuff. Yeah. And she said, and some of them have already seen your pictures and they're interested in working with wow. you. Wow. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. Especially since like we just took those pictures in our son's bedroom. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, took actually, them yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah. But do you know... What's cool, like, and we'll, we will share when yeah. you get put in ads, we'll put them on our social, like, we'll just share the links on our social media, yeah, because they'll definitely be online somewhere, yeah, and we'll online. know what ads are, so we'll put them on our social media yeah. so everyone can see, yeah, yeah, when that happens, yeah, it'll be pretty quick, I reckon, yeah, yeah, hopefully, but you know, um, yeah. I'm just like one of the things I'm a bit worried about is like juggling it with the kids. Yeah. Because obviously I'm still their like primary caregiver. Yep. Yeah, I just And you don't have every day free to go I and don't. do a modeling shoot for like no. five, six hours. No. Eight hours, I don't know. She did say that there's like a shoot coming up that like um, the agency puts on. Yeah. And like all the talent goes along to the shoot. And it's on the weekend and, like, everyone gets new photos to put on the website and, yeah. like, send to clients and stuff. Yeah, okay. So, she's like, you should – you need to be at that. And I was like, okay. Okay, yeah, cool. It's on the weekend. Sounds like a casting couch. This is not a <laughs> <laughs> My brain is just this whole time. No, it's like – Yeah, I know, I know, I know. People, like, go to the beach or something and, like, everyone, like, stands there and gets, like – I'm joking, by the way. Photos I don't actually stuff. think it sounds like a casting couch. Well, Jacques, just obviously, you're not obviously 
fully aware of like I what know. happens in I the know. industry and like it I is know. a bit sus sometimes when like someone's texting you and saying can you just send me yeah. a photo in your underwear that's what it was that's what set lock that's what and i did it yeah so and to me i was like oh that's a bit porny no one hack my phone oh don't say that because <laughs> someone might yeah, yeah. Mm. so but yeah we'll see what happens because um i haven't seen the contract and stuff so oh yeah, yeah. cool so I'm actually signed to two agencies now because Amber is my mother agent and then I have another agent. Yeah, okay. Which is best of both worlds. Yeah. Yeah, which is what Amber said. So I I'm very proud her. of you. Thanks. I wish I did it like 10 years ago, to be honest. I just thought I was too fat. <laughs> and I still am, but that's what people want. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Only there's there a place there, for everyone in the world. Yeah, literally. Yeah, there's literally a place. Like all these plebs, watch me drive <laughs> a truck in, on the internet, <laughs> and now it's like we, and now they're still watching us talking to a microphone. Yeah, yeah. But we're entertaining. Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just ask I feel like us. we should have planned this bloody podcast better. We did plan the pod. You say this every week. <laughs> we plan the podcast. Do I really? Yeah. How are you going with um, not smoking anymore? Mm. You're quitting. Yeah. Good. Got some like headaches going on. Or yeah, headaches. How's the rage? Mm, uh, good. You haven't like thrown a coffee cup at anyone this week? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> coffee cup. Claire is referring to... This <laughs> this guy, right? She picked me up <coughs> when I first got back to the job that I'm working now. Yeah. Um, because I left for six months. Whatever. Um, I left for six months. Went and done something else, and then come back. And then the first morning, Claire picked me up from the yard, and we were coming home. She was she was going slow coming onto the Gateway Bridge. Eh? Not even slow. Just I wasn't, this cockhead trading. This cockhead. Can you that fly? People will be able to see that. Yeah, this this cockhead tradie in his van decided you were going too slow. Yeah. So he... Um, so he tailgated me, so yeah. I slowed down even more. Yeah, so he tailgated us and then come up... On the gateway, by the way, yeah, going and then, north. And then come up beside us and then I'm like in... Say this is the window, like wh where this camera is looking at. I'm like in the window watching him come up beside us and then I wound down my window when he got beside me, right? And I said to Jacques, the kids are in the car, don't do anything yeah, dumb. Yeah, he's like... Because he, in, ha, in the past, has been dumb about road rage. And then he's like, you're impeding traffic, blah, blah, blah. And he didn't... Oh, he did I was that, just hey. staring at him with a death stare. Didn't say anything. Yeah. And then he just stopped talking and, like, kind of had this, whoa, are you all right, bro? Like, look on his face. Because <laughs> he wasn't saying anything. <laughs> yeah. I was just staring <laughs> at him, like, tired because I just finished the 12-hour drive. But he was still yelling at you. yeah. And then he like just kind of stopped, whatever. And then Claire had this coffee, one of those thermos coffee mugs yeah. in the car. I, I grabbed it and it had no lid on it or did it have a lid on it? No, you took the lid off. Yeah, I took the lid off and launched it at this guy and it hit him in the head <laughs> through his window. His face was he's like, like... He's like, what the fuck? Are you serious, bro? And I just laughed <laughs> and wound the window back up. <laughs> what a like it. That was even before he gave up ciggies. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> yeah. I don't have much patience with people, whatever. No. No, I do. I'm I'm pretty calm. Yeah, but until someone's time, like yelling at your that, wife. There's that, so. Yeah, I know, there's, but there's that time that when Huey was real young. Remember that guy just like started arcing up in traffic for nothing? Yeah. And like we we full on chased him? Yeah, Blackwood. No, 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 we've uh, through Fernie Hills. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. That's Blackwood Drive, Woodhill. Yeah, yeah, wood, I don't know. Woodhill. Yeah. Yeah, that was bad as well. That was bad. But that was the only two instances. Yeah. But no, nah, the smoking—it's easy. Yeah. Because I'm because I don't want to smoke anymore. Yeah, that's I really good. could not care less about. Yeah, smoking. I was actually really impressed with you today because we obviously went and saw some of your family. Yeah, we don't say mention don't any names. <laughs> <laughs> don't say anybody's because he's. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And um, we'll insert the inside joke in text, maybe. No, no. no so we'll explain one it. One of my uncles thinks that um, every time I mention him on a podcast, I owe him a card for some reason. That's so stupid. <laughs> so, like, he thinks that if I say his name, Uncle. <laughs> oh, no, I'll say, wait, wait. If I say his name, Uncle. <laughs> but I'll blur the name. 
You'll beep it out. So he- Uncle. <laughs> <laughs> Beep. <laughs> yeah, he thinks I own my card and every time, but whatever. So but we went over there. They went to a family golf day. I slept in because I was up till midnight editing last night. Yeah, and we just went over for a few beers. But they're all smokers. Yeah, I and didn't even like before we arrived. I said, "Oh, you, you know, you might be tempted to smoke today." Yeah. Um, you know, if you do like have another cigarette, you'll probably go through the withdrawal yeah, systems the withdrawals, again. Yeah, literally. So I just was like, you know, but I know it's tempting to do it, but try not to. It really to. wasn't. Yeah. Was, they, they, they smoke. He was blown smoke in my face. Not on purpose. No, but, but it was I, like I, windy was sitting right next to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, yeah, nothing. That's great. Yeah, I just Good don't. You. I just don't want to smoke anymore. Yeah. And it's a and you know I get it's a it's a very satisfying. Like getting in the car and not smelling. Yeah. Like I know that I don't smell of cigarette smoke. Like I yeah. might have smelled a little bit from yeah. them smoking. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. And like I'd be, you know, I'd be in bed half, you know, out mm. if I had cigarettes probably. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because they add, like I sobered yeah. up as soon as we left. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you'd only had three drinks. Yeah. But yeah. Well, Four. six. <laughs> <laughs> in a couple hours, it's pretty good. Yeah, it's whatever. so funny. We got in the car. I was like, oh, you're so talky. You're so drunk. And Jack goes, I'm not drunk at all. I only had three drinks. And now it turns out it was six. Yeah, I had, yeah, six. <laughs> Everyone drank half my whole to- hard to all as I oh, so I drank their best. That's so funny. Yeah. How funny. Maybe maybe we should stop talking about Jacques and Grog well, in this podcast. It's a common thing. It is common. And, I, and I'll end up painting myself as a real pussy. Yeah. I'm not, I'm, I don't drink as like... I only drink about as much as a normal bloke would. Yeah. Yeah. But How honestly, if, if anyone else wants to sponsor us for some free grog, go for it. That's so funny. <laughs> yeah. This week's podcast is about we're doing family therapy. Family therapy, couples counselling. <laughs> and I think we, we haven't talked about this, but what I realised right before we done the podcast is we're just coming up with ways to tell Stories about our lives Or something You know what I mean About oh. just naming it Different things Like last episode It was As a first time for everything That was just a Way to tell stories That's the fucking dishwasher Our dishwasher's finished That's everyone. literally The dishwasher <laughs> uh, I'll Eight beeps Yeah I know, right? Just in case you're wondering We're literally just Coming up with different ways To Just chat And uh, Sorry I'm really hoping By the end of this we have some improvement in our relationship, so take that for yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I've when we decided that this is, was this week's yeah. like subject, mm. and we said, okay, each of us has to write down four things. I started the minute he said that. Yeah, literally, I've not stopped writing things down. Oh, uh, jeez, I'm just making them up on the fly. Well, sounds like <laughs> our wedding day. Yeah, literally, I I, I winged my <laughs> speech. Yeah. At the reception. So, yeah. That was a bit fucking ballsy, wasn't it? It was ballsy. It was still the best part of the wedding video. Yeah, it was beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to find the wedding video, you just got to look up my yeah, YouTube Claire Cross account. Yeah, on YouTube. Our wedding video is on, on there. It's pretty good. One of the things that I'm sure Jacques is going to mention is how fast I speak on this podcast. How slow. Oh, how slow. Yeah. Like as in the speed. yeah. But this is like a. Where is this from? Where did you? Where do you get all these like podcast concepts from? I, I think of them that. myself. Do you really? Yeah. You haven't heard family therapy on a podcast well, at all. No, the only thing that I've seen something similar is Indy Clinton on TikTok. Who? Yeah, exactly. No. You're not on TikTok. You're not on Mum Talk. Yeah. So don't even stress. Yeah. She does couples counselling with her. Husband, husband on TikTok. Yeah, and they put like a, a funny filter on their voices. Oh, and funny. It's so funny. Yeah, okay. And so they gave they you the call, idea yeah. for family therapy. Mm-hmm. And we're just going to air some dirty laundry out on a podcast. Yeah. We're going to talk about problems that we have with each other. Yeah. So what's your fucking problem? Oh. <laughs> well, let me get have my seven page notes. Of course I've written things down. Okay. So, first of all. Let me just tell you. Um, <laughs> I'm going to start light. Yeah. Go on. The car door. The fucking car door, Jacques. The car. Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> our car doors. Apparently, it's a Nissan 
thing. Yeah. But our, of, of like our year model, the the door handles for both the front doors they don't work. They don't on work. The We've got to wind down the window <laughs> like an absolute povo bitch. Outside. Put your arm out. Open the door from <laughs> the external <laughs> handle. And wind the window up while you hold the door open so it doesn't shut. You got to wind the window for, for the long. And then get out of the car. For months, it was only the passenger side. And like two weeks ago, I break the driver's side. So when we pull up somewhere, <laughs> it's so fucking embarrassing. So when we pull up somewhere, Shut we both up. wind out our windows and our arms go out the window. We fucking open the doors. <laughs> this is literally what you see, okay? Let's pretend. Ready? Oh, oh, fuck, that's funny. And then out the yeah, window, the open that. the door, yeah. wind the window back up. Open the door. Oh. Yeah. But if, and if you go back into the car to get something after you've done that and then the door closes, you have to do it again. Or like say you've gotten in the car and then remembered that you've <laughs> forgotten something. You then have to wind the window down, <laughs> open the door. Anyway, <coughs> I've said to Jacques every weekend <clears throat> since one of the door handles has broken, yeah. fix the door handle. Yeah. Claire ordered the part last week and it turned up. What was that work? And I said to you, can you fix the door handle today? Yeah. Guess what you didn't do? Fix the door handle. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, this is so funny. I didn't even think about the fact that you were going to put this on here. <laughs> Wait, what's your next one? This is fun. Because <laughs> <laughs> every time... No, we, we, every we're not time even we... finished. I need a promise. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need hold a promise. On, hold on. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Every time we get, <laughs> we get somewhere... <laughs> every time we fucking turn up somewhere, Claire fucking <laughs> has the biggest moan. <laughs> Why you would the, I not moan you about have that? You the biggest moan, like, oh, Jack, I'm fucking sick of these door handles. No, I she's don't gonna, even say that. I open say, my door like a fucking povo bitch. <laughs> That's what she <laughs> says every fucking time. Every time I say that. It's hilarious because, <laughs> I don't know, I just didn't think that was going to be that funny. I mean, what's your next one? I don't think it's funny. Yeah. Do you don't want to add one? You don't want to go no, tip No, I want to listen to, to your next one. You want to listen to the... Yeah, because this is funny. Okay, um, Jacques would prefer to do something if your friends told you, um, even oh, though yeah. I've told you the same thing, or yeah. um, you decide to pull my ideas off for your own ideas. We do this to each other. Uh, no, I don't do it to you. <laughs> no. Okay, babe. I've been with you for how long? Eight, nine years? Yeah. We do this to each other. This is the funniest thing because <laughs> both of us hate taking suggestions from each other. And then, like, I'm two, open to suggestions. Two weeks later, all of a sudden, like, if I give you a suggestion, two weeks later you don't like it, and then two weeks later you're taking it on board, and it's your own idea. That <laughs> Literally, wasn't, this was my thing. Oh, it was one of my things too. Oh, I just it was on my phone too. It's not. <laughs> <laughs> but it's not. Nothing is written down on his phone. I don't even know how to fix that. I've tried, honestly. I really have tried to You just don't to be listen to me? Yeah, well, that's what I mean. We don't Yeah. We don't uh, listen to... Uh, oh, so, okay. what you have to say now is we don't listen to each other. Yeah. Do you know what actually... Because I'm aware thing, that I do it. One thing we did after we actually went through couples counselling, it was we started saying to each other, I'm going to tell you something and I need you to listen. Remember yeah, we used yeah. to do that? No, I still do that. I've been... I was done it to like four times today, do you? <laughs> <laughs> What? It came up on the Did it really? Oh, look at the waves. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, do you want my next one? That, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. We do that to each other. Apparently. We don't we because both of us are hard headed. So imagine what our what our little three year old hard headed mm. dude puppy dog is. His like. latest thing is no? Are you sure? Yeah. He I know. says that to himself. Yeah, I know. He is the most hard-headed kid in the world, this kid. We say, Huey. He goes, oh, I'm tired. <laughs> and I go, Huey, would you like to go for a nap? No. Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. But like at, at, at restaurants, we went to lunch today. Yeah. Like brunch. And 
Once Huey decides that Huey is finished at the table, mm. he's like, fuck you all. I'm <laughs> fucking finished at this table. Especially I'm now that he's up. like very much grown out of a yeah. high chair. Yeah, I know. And it's just like, oh, we have no choice but to either fight with him yeah. and he'll cause the biggest scene in the restaurant or just go with him and go play outside with yeah. him. And then so one of us go has with to the flow now. Yeah. What's your next one? Okay, the next one is um, Jacques um, <laughs> is a whinger. Oh, yeah. Come on. Jack likes to have a whinge. Yeah, I whinge. It gets a bit much, babe. You whinge about the tiniest things. It's like, oh, I need to tell Jack this little inconvenience. Oh, no, he's going to have a whinge about it. <laughs> like, yeah, what did you do yesterday? Yeah, the Chinese food. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we ordered Chinese for dinner. Yeah. And uh, we were talking about what to order before I went in. And I went in and I didn't oh uh, that i i asked for the mongolian lamb and then i forgot to well the lady forgot to put it on and then yeah. i was like we probably don't need it yeah and then also i we decided on mm. what was the meat being goring chow mein chow mein and you didn't get it you I swapped d- it for fucking chicken noodles yeah hokkien noodles <sighs> prawns prawn chow mein whatever Anyway, so it, that's so then she what got I that. Yeah, yeah, I got winged at, and I was like, you know, shut up. Yeah, actually, shut up. <laughs> yeah, he reckons that I give her anxiety. Yeah, when she tells me stuff because you of how do. I Yeah, because like everything's a big deal to you, even though <laughs> it was literally just uh, Mongolian lamb and yeah, chow mein, yeah. and you're just like, oh my god, why did you do that? No, that's not. <clears throat> I didn't say like that. Shark. <laughs> I think I've been <clears throat> low key mad at you. Do you want to hear my one? Oh, yeah. You ran out of gas the other day. Oh, yeah. That was pretty pretty annoying. <laughs> yeah. If you haven't, go sit, look, go look at my reels on the Cross Family Trucking Facebook page. But old mate here forgot to Sorry fuel the that. car up before she came and get me from work. And this is the second time she's done it. Literally. The first time was fine, though, because... No, it wasn't. I, you ran out of fuel. I conked out of fuel as we were passing <laughs> a fuel station. So, I pulled in front of the traffic... <laughs> Around the corner, Claire, Claire just like, oh my god, I'm out of fuel, and then she just went straight into straight the server. Into the server, and like, and we had to push stopped, the car over to it the, into the bowser. Fuel bowser. And then this time, both times we were lucky. This time we were like 500 meters from a server. I just had to walk up the highway a little bit. I mean, I did offer. I did get out. Yeah, and Claire start got walking. out. I should have filmed that, but Claire got out. I was mad at her, so I was like, get out and do it. Go. <laughs> she got out, looking at me the whole time with puppy dog eyes, and I was like, fuck's sakes, get back in the car. I did not want to do it. Which would you have preferred? Sitting in the car with the kids? No, I'd prefer to go and bloody... Go for the 500 yeah. meter walk. Yeah. yeah, I thought so. It only took me... Went down there, took a big old shit. Did you really? Yeah. Did you go to the toilet? Yeah. That's so funny. Yeah. I walked down there, let the kids, you know, loose in the toilet. <laughs> and then... So gross. <laughs> and then... R.I.P. to the next person that yeah. walks in there. And then bought 30... Like it cost us... Like 60 bucks to get 10 oh, well. litres of fuel. Whoops. <laughs> yeah. No. Yeah. Sorry about that. Yep. But yeah. Don't, please stop doing that. That's so Do you annoying. Know, um, my steering wheel, because I usually drive with it right down the bottom, it I can't see how many kilometres I've got left. Yeah. So that's why. Oh. That's I just think, I think. So you... I've started driving with my steering wheel up a bit more so I can see it. Most people just fuel the car up anyway. Instead of waiting till it gets okay, I'm down to ten k's. I better get fuel the car. <laughs> okay, what do you got? What's what's next? Yeah, because these are hilarious. Okay, you don't like spiders and bugs. Oh, these are this is silly. Yeah, the, my saying with this is if it's got more legs than me, I hate it. <laughs> I've like, never heard. Or that. I'd rather be scared than dead. So that's not that's not. That's not a thing. Well, the the reason I don't like the fact that because you, you have to do it. Yes. Yeah. You walk you can over. Deal with that. You'd no, be right. I deal with everything else. Oh. Yeah, but you can deal with the spiders as well. Huey the other day s- killed this cockroach. Yeah. We should have said the video of that, but Huey killed the cockroach the other day. The reason while I was running around filming him, going, "Oh." Yes. <laughs> the reason you should insert it is because Jacques in the background going, "Oh, oh no, get away, get away!" Because it's like attached to the what was yeah, he holding he a tissue, holding. 
and the the cockroach was then on the tissue, and you, he was like coming over to you, and you're like, get away, and it was dead. Yeah, but he when I walked out here because. I walked out here and he was underneath the table playing with it. He was trying to feed his muffin to the oh. cockroach. So he was like hitting the cockroach and like squashing it with his muffin trying to feed it. That's so gross. That's Jack. so funny. This is that that wasn't no. Nah. What are you scared of? Nothing. What are you scared of? Scared of being alone. I don't like that. No. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Okay, my next one is that um, oh, getting straight into it. Oh yeah, I don't even need to look at it. Yeah, getting you to mow the lawns is like pulling teeth. Yeah, because I have to like I have this like I and my brain, my brain Chuck. just no. I when I'm doing something when I'm like got like something going on, yeah. I just can't think about anything else. Well, I before can't. we were doing the podcast, yeah. this was still a problem. Because I was doing vlogs. No. Yeah. No. What do you mean, no? Because you took ages off the vlogs and you still didn't do the lawns. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because I was thinking about doing the vlogs. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Everything's an excuse. But my bandwidth is only goes so far. Okay. And then when you do do the work, right? Yeah. I love it. I love mowing the lawns. I just hate doing it. Yeah, but when you finish doing it, you then often don't even put the mower away. Like that's, some, that's a lie. That is oh, not that a lie. That was that one time. Jeez, you're dramatic. One time I didn't put the mower away, it rained and Claire had to put it away. Okay, every single time you've done the lawns lately, something is wrong. Like you can't just finish a job right. Okay? <laughs> one time you <laughs> left the gate open on the side and the kid got oh, out. Yeah, yeah, okay, that was bad. Huey yeah. was running down the freaking driveway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So even when I do mow the lawns, you still got something to complain about. Yeah, because you just don't do it properly. <laughs> okay? Just like do it. edges never get done because never. we don't have a whippersnipper. Yeah, it and doesn't fix the whippersnipper or go and get another one and it's my responsibility to then replace the freaking whippersnipper. Usually I use like this hedge trimmer to do the edges. But some idiot sprayed it with the hose, so it broke. Chuck. <laughs> Why the head trimmer was even near the hose? I don't know. I think you left it there last time you used oh, it. Oh, because I had to mow. Yeah. Mm. Well, you've done a good job, though. Yeah, I know. I did, did much better doing than it? you. <laughs> nope. <laughs> you did, eh? It feels no. good to mow the lawns. No. Yeah. feels good. So the last time you mowed the lawns, you didn't even get rid of the cuttings. They're sitting in the corner of the yard. Because <laughs> <laughs> our bins were full and the lawns were pretty long. They were probably yay high because it's been they raining for the last... They were not yay high. What, just then? Off the ground or off the couch? Off the couch. Oh, yeah. They were probably like this long. <laughs> Why did you do that at your dick? No, it was <laughs> oh, you were like cool. this long. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, but <laughs> I don't even know. This isn't even a valid subject, to be honest with you. Next, next, uh, next. that's all I have written down. Is it really? Yeah. Well, Claire has this thing that she does, and she knows that I hate this. She leaves the caps off everything. Like, should I go and grab something that you've left the cap off? Go for it. I don't do it anymore because you raised it with me. Mm, no. Nah. Where's the olive oil cap half the time, babe? It's on the, on the ground. The, the, it was in the baby's mouth the other day. Yeah. That's pretty funny though because um, Jacques. <laughs> what? Can you show everyone the olive oil cap? Oh, uh, it's got holes in the top of it. And it's I thought the baby bit through it with her <laughs> little teeth. It's a metal lid. Yeah. But clear poked holes in it. I don't know that's something that people do. I did that so it like doesn't <laughs> come out as heavy. Really? New waste. Oh, okay. Um, Is that why you've done that? Olive oil. <laughs> you fart in your sleep too much. I don't. <laughs> Do you know what's funny? You know what's this funny? morning I was lying there <laughs> awake because Olive woke up at yeah. four and I was trying to go back to sleep. And Jack goes, <laughs> 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 and I was like, he wouldn't even believe me if I told him about this. <laughs> yeah, how funny! But do you know what's hilarious is that <laughs> you sit here and go, I don't even do that. How do you know? <laughs> Proof. Yeah. Okay. Perfect life, perfect life. Yeah, no, nah, actually, I don't have much complaints about you, babe. Thanks. But it seems like you got a bit about me. Yeah. Sharpen up, mate. Sharpen up, you reckon? Sharpen up. Oh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. 
What do you know? What's surprising is that you didn't mention how I'm really bad at buying gifts. It's because it's not a problem, is it not? No. We're there. We got there. So for the long, Claire is very good at buying gifts. It's one of her love languages. Um, and for the longest time, Claire has it, it, Claire's sister is the is the other person that understands how much anxiety I get. Because she has the same thing when it comes to buying Claire a gift because she's so good at it. If you buy a shit gift, Claire won't... She's not... Like, she'll let you know. Uh, Claire will let you know if it's a shit gift. I mean, I won't on purpose. Yeah, but, like, I bought Claire... She was having, like, smoothies in the morning with her, when she used to work at in the city, right? And um, she was blending them all up. So I bought... Oh, my God. Portable blender. USB rechargeable, Claire. And while we're in the car, blend up her smoothie and then smash it. Claire hated it. Preface with the fact that that was the only present we were giving each other that year because we were saving for our wedding. Mm. And I got you a little portable blender. Yeah. <laughs> but that is like, that's why I'm surprised that you didn't bring that up. I've raised that with you a few times. Well, the blender was shit. Oh. Shit gift. Oh. Sorry, mate. Yeah, it was. I think it was too. Yeah. Do we have anything that we want to talk about? Like therapy was? I don't know. Oh. I think we're doing pretty well. I think you're doing a lot better. One thing I've been having to go at you, at Claire, one thing oh. I've been having to go at you about is how slow. If you go back to the last three episodes. Oh, my speech. How? Just have a pay a close attention to how the difference in Claire talking. I mean, up her all week at it. About it, as I'm she just, was speaking very softly and very slowly. Do you know? I think I'm just like working my way into like relaxing a bit more yep, in know. the podcast and like being yep. myself a bit more. Whereas I've been in front of the camera for the last twelve months, yeah. So I understand that I just talk, and yeah. whether it's whether I mumble or people can understand me, it doesn't matter. And like when I used to do my blogging and stuff, it really was like, do not let anyone see the real side. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone else that was what? doing... What? Wait, you just skipped over that. That's pretty like... No, I was going to go into detail. Like everyone else that was doing like the blogging and stuff, they wouldn't put out like what they would get up to in their personal life. Yeah, it yeah. was just about the outfits but, and stuff. Yeah, and that, and that, you know, it's funny. It's Yeah, you're exactly right. But now it's, there's, it's all about personal marketing. Yeah. People, the more it's relatable you branding. can be. Yeah. Like... Um, all those little road mics, you guys will know, all those little road mics that people use to do interviews on the street now. Yeah. That's why I got those. To yeah. do more personal content. Yeah. Because, like, um, obviously we got a set. Or we didn't mention that we got those. But, yeah, um, I want to do more personal content. Yeah. With us, with people on the road, like, yeah. while I'm on the road. Yeah. But, like, yeah, that's why I probably wasn't speaking very fast is because I am measured... You know? Yeah. Yeah. Measured yep. kind of person. Yeah. No, you are. Trying to be less that. measured, I guess, on yeah. this podcast. Just you trying relax. To be myself. Be yourself. You literally are talking perfectly. Thanks. No. Because yeah. when you're editing the vlogs or pods and you're just sitting there going, oh. Literally. Oh, you're it's talking so, fr- so slow. It's, oh. <laughs> it's so you're frustrating. Fucking because, yeah. We have to, yeah, we have to be kind of at the same level. You are talking so quietly. Yeah, Claire. literally, we done Shut up. that ad read that you guys saw at the start of this. We, why are you shaking your head? Just because I really struggled with, <laughs> I struggled with reading and speaking, not at the same time. Mm. Reading something on the side and then speaking into the camera mm. and then, re- I have literally got dyslexia. Yeah. Okay, but that's like the fifth reason she's given me for, <laughs> <laughs> for fucking the one, for the, that's like the fifth, literally the fifth reason that you've given me for that. You're allowed to say that you just haven't. I struggle with about reading. Keeping your volume up and stuff like that. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> You're allowed to admit it. Yeah. Okay, what else? What else is your fucking problem? <laughs> what else is my fucking problem? Yeah. Hmm. You breathe really heavily. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm asthmatic. <laughs> you and your fucking reasons. That's a meme. You and your fucking have reasons. Have you not seen that? No, I haven't. Uh, is that a TikTok? Yeah. Uh, of course it is. I'm asthmatic. I'm just coming up with things now. 
Yeah, I was going to say, wow, breathing. I don't really, I really How don't, dare I? I really don't have that many problems with you, babe. Yeah, well, perfect. I think because of our kids and the way you mother them oh. and because we learnt to give each other a lot of grace yeah, when grace. we went through mm-hmm. a really rough patch and we went to therapy and the one thing we got from that was give each other grace and it yeah. taught us everything that we needed to know to be have a successful marriage. Yeah. Because of all that, I, don't, I really don't have that many problems with him. Yeah. Good therapy session, babe. Yeah. Wait, are we ending this podcast? <clears throat> well, yeah. All I was going to say is I think the only other thing that you had a problem with was how I was decorating the house. Oh, yeah. Actually, I forgot about that. See, yeah. I should have. Nah, see, I don't like think I don't like dwelling on things like that. Yeah. I'd, Especially we like spoke about it and I yeah. fixed it. So this photo here. The you cottage. Guys are looking at, yeah. Claire had that theme going as often as she could in the house and above in our little wall in the little wall in the kitchen yeah. over there there was these dinner plates that had like these colonial figures on them it was called the mayor of brisbane N- no oh <laughs> it's called the mayor and it's like a series that they did um when people cared about mayors i and guess so politicians. so you can get like the mayor and like the, the um prime minister and yeah. like um, yep. The auditor or something like that. Yeah, like you can get a whole bunch of them. Yeah. Yeah. So I had, had the mayor. It was from my grandmother. Yeah, which I understand that it was your grandmother's plate, but I just got up clear constantly about these things because I would come home and like look at it and go, "I'm literally a 27 year old brown girl, brown and man. I've got this old dinner plate of a colonial man on my kitchen wall that I have yeah, to look literally. at every time I come home." And I just, get it. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad you did. Yeah. But you no, nah, you're pretty good, babe. And then I had that picture up there and you still didn't like it. I like it there. Yeah. Because it suits being there next yeah. to fa- and like the everything that's behind us. Yeah. Like just so you guys know, this isn't this is was not set up for the podcast, what's behind us. This no. is just how our house looks. Yeah. And like our our house is beautiful. Thanks. When it's when it's clean. 'Cause but we have <laughs> we have a toddler that messes toddler. it up constantly. And our furniture is beautiful. Yeah. But like um all Claire of our furniture is furniture's very good. Yeah. antiques. Yeah, no, from you're my very parents. good at this. Oh, thanks. I've always told Claire that she needs to do something like this or wedding planning for um, as a job. Well, I'm a model. Yeah, you are. And a <laughs> mum. Model yeah. mum. Yeah. Are we finished? Yeah. Yeah, true. Was that boring? No, I don't think so. Can you guys tell us if it's boring? And um, if you have a little gripe with your. Wait. Um, significant other, yeah. your husband or your wife, yeah. um, or your boyfriend or girlfriend, can you please tell us in the comments? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I want to know what your gripe is with your partner. Yeah. And it maybe if you let us know if you mention it and see what their reaction is. And let me know what you think about lame ass editing, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've, been try- I've just been silly with it till now that I've got the MacBook. Because this is a heading. Can you put a heading in there? What? What, what do you want it to say? Heading. What? This is a heading. And then it just says... The pink. It's a heading. Yeah, okay. In the pink. Oh, how funny. Yeah, all right. Yeah, thanks. Oh, okay. That was early. What's the time? Not really, because we've got nine. another video to film now. Are we going to film another one? Yeah, we're going to do right. a chuck one. Love ya. Love ya. Thanks for watching. See you next week. Hope you guys... Um, whatever. See you later. <laughs> <laughs>